Um, I want to just give you a couple of sound bites. Um, it's a chapter in there where it's called 12, right? It's another chapter in there, but doing that 12, which is very emotional, um, this is deep. And I always want to know why my mother was saying Moses. But then when I started like, really like, because I had to read it. And then I said, oh man, and I started getting emotional, is that, see, I was dropped off to a minister. This is deep. Then I meet another minister that gives me food. He purchased the book. When I come back, he said, come in, close the door. He said, the, the guy, Reverend DJ Jenkins, I love you. That's the one raised me until I was 12, right? He said, he the one ordained me. Is that deep? No, this connecting the dots. I said, whoa. So I was, I was put here is to be a minister, but not from the pulpit. A minister, I, just, I never in my slightest idea know that I was going to be this, but you're going to see the journey. Now, what's more, more interesting in this book is that, and Dr. Perry can bear witness, we say we have to get this book in the prisons, right? Because when you go and teach to the prisoners or teaching to people that suffering and there's no hope and all the rest of the stuff, poverty, I mean, it's just so much attacking these young kids, right? You got to come with something stronger than them. So we dropped off, what was it, about 50? 50 books. So what Perry did, Perry said, now what I want you to do is when you go back in, find out who finished the book and let them give you a response. I wish I would have brought the letters that the response I got back, but I'm gonna tell you one story. A guy came, I came in, he said, I've been waiting to see you. He had teardrops all down, you see these kids with the tattoos and all that. All that means something, they don't just do this. And he was crying. So I said, what's up? He said, I'm gonna speak to you in private. He said, I read your book, man. He said, man, he said, you don't supposed to be alive. I said, okay, because I'm trying to figure where he coming from. But he opened up to me. He said, I'm about to get out, man. He said, I'm tired of shooting people. You'd be, surprised, you'd be surprised the feedback. I said, I got you. In this tape, I mentioned this, not that, but in the speech when I was saying that, um, that van that you see, when people come home from prison, Right? I ask them to come to me first before you do anything. Because I'm going to do everything I can is so you won't have to go back. Because as y'all know, reality is bad out here. Very bad. The economy and what happened. And everybody ain't strong. So a lot of people fall. So with that, I was able to say, let me go on and, and, and make some of these tapes.